Uh, hey everybody, this is Dave. Um, this video is going to focus on my UBI G2 Phoenix uh, digital uh, multimeter or clamp clamp meter. Um, basically, overall, it is a great meter. You know, for the money and for the price that you you, you spent you pay for. Um, I got this. I got this is my second one that I have. Uh, the first one I got uh, from the school, the trade school I went to when I studied um, HVAC, when I took the HVAC course. They gave us one of these and out of all the tools and everything that they had given us, uh, this pretty much was the most decent thing out of everything. A you know, very good solid um, 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 a multimeter. I'm not going to go into too many details about it, but I'm just going to just you know, uh, share some highlights, some points about it because Again, you know, you know, looking on YouTube, I didn't see any that many personal videos on uh, some of the G UEI uh, meters. Now, to kind of give you a little bit of history, uh, like I said, I, another one of these I have I had gotten from school, had started using it last year, or you no, know, last year when I started out in this trade. And the key points that I, that I love about it is the fact that one, you know, it has you know built-in light. Now, unfortunately. When you hit the light button, you know both the display and the uh, uh, clamp uh, clamp light comes on at the same time. So, you know, the, you know, unfortunately, the clamp light doesn't open, or the clamp light doesn't come on when you open the jaws, you know, and the like. So, when you hit the light button, everything comes on. Uh, dual display, you know, which is great. So, um, I mean, granted, it's not you no know, mandatory that you have one, but for me, since I've started off with this. You know, it makes more sense. Definitely makes more sense. You can you know, read your voltages and check your amps, especially when you're um, uh, checking out your compressor um, outside. And it's great to have that. Um, and also, too, it can do uh, voltage, DC and AC, ohms, uh, continuity, diode check, microfarads, microamps, temperature, which you have to, you know, pull your pull your um, uh, meter leads out and then switch, switch the temperature probe and use any type of uh, K type uh, thermocouple and also has a select button where you can you know switch from AC to DC or depending on which mode you're in uh, so for example you got the continuity here so you hit select if you want to go uh, check out a diode and then go back to the um, you know, sound check you know continuity and the like and then also too when you got the temperature you know over here I don't know if you can see it that well it says Fahrenheit when you hit select, you want to go to uh, Celsius. Now, started using this last year. You know, it was great and everything. And then also too, what I like about it is the fact that you know have meter lead, meter holder leads, um, meter lead holders in the in the back, and this right here. This to me is the, the selling point where all um, meters should have is a magnetic back. Okay. Now some may argue the fact that you know you just take this and. You know, clamp it anywhere to hang it or what have you, but some location you you know you don't have that option. You know, so you either have the holder in your hand or set it on the floor uh, or, or set it wherever you know you can. But having this magnetic back, you can stick it anywhere. No matter no matter uh, what environment that you're in, you can stick this. It will stick and it will not move. It's very solid, very sturdy um, magnet. And then also too, the top head uh, comes off, so you can put like um, I think they have like a hook type um, uh, a clamp meter uh, that you can slide on top you know, as well uh, uses 9 volt batteries uh, which battery life on this is very good very excellent and also it has a non-contact non voltage um, uh, piece here so you, know, you can check you know for voltages you know on um, the power, power, power lines you know or voltage lines what have you and, and the like it has a range button so if you want to change display uh, on your um, unit, and then you can, you know, you can do so. And then another cool thing here is, which I'll demonstrate. It has this little, little uh, probe holder, you know, so you can um, have one probe to ground, and then, you know, if you have to reach far, you know, deep in there, uh, you can do that, and uh, to get your voltage or your own checks or whatever you're checking for, you know, you can reach deep into the unit. Um, so that's great, especially if you're dealing with, with electricity, high voltage, you know, you want to check, you know, your 240 coming in, or, you know, you check your transformer, some air handler, there's a transformer way in the back, so you have to kind of like, you know, reach your hand in there and be careful not to, uh, uh, no, no, no shock yourself. 
So after working with this one, the other one that I had, I kind of I wanted to get a second one as a backup to this one. And I was doing some research and stuff like that. And of course, you know, over the years, I looked at you know lots of YouTube videos, you know, kind of get get some knowledge and experience from other uh, uh, folks in the industry. And uh, you know, coming across inrust current, you know, now I see the value of you know measuring or being able to measure inrust current, especially on an uh, outside compressor. So, at first, I didn't realize that these could do inrush current. You know, I didn't read the. I, I'll be honest, I didn't read the instructions. I just took it out the packet and just started using it, and uh, I just learned things on the fly. So, um, I started to search. You know, last year to this year on uh, what meter or what you know uh, uh, clamp on meter that I wanted to go with, and there were like at least four basic requirements that I had. You know. Uh, with the new clamp meter. One, what's the fact that your clamp meter? Two, uh, which wasn't a big deal, but you know, if you have if you have a dual display, you know, that's fine. If you didn't, no problem, no biggie. Um, three, you no, know, I had to, display had to light up. Okay, um, I didn't necessarily had to, was worried about the clamp light, but you know, definitely the display. If you, if you could light up for me, that'd be great. So I can look at the reading, especially like I said, you know, tall as I am. I don't have to stoop down so far to the ground, but in four, it had to have a magnet. Had to have a magnet. I mean, you know, just like I said, you know, those were my pet peeves. You know, I mean, like I said, it doesn't fit. Doesn't have to fit everyone. It's not going to fit everyone. Some people are just fine with just taking a clamp and just clamping it on, you know, any and everywhere. But like I said earlier, sometimes you may not be able to clamp it somewhere. So having that magnet uh, make, you know, makes a world of difference and. During my search, you know, I've come across some high dollar uh, clamp meters, you know, some low dollar clamp meters, and you'll be surprised at how many clamp meters do not have magnetic and magnetic back. And you know, for the most part, a lot of my diagnostic tools are field piece, field piece tools, and I was even surprised with some of you know their clamp meters. They don't have a little magnet on the back. Um, and you know, nonetheless, that's neither here nor there. So, one day I was uh, researching um, what other UE, UEI models that they you know had for clamp meters, and I was just so happened to reading the, the instructions on because this this particular unit is a 379. I was reading the instructions on the 389, and they're coming to find out the same instruction for the 379, 389, and 369 were pretty much all the same instructions, and that's how I discovered that. You can do inrush current uh, with this particular meter, um, and of course, naturally, the way you would go about doing it. So let me turn it on first, of course. And of course, in, in, in another video, I'll do the actual test where you can measure uh, inrush current. But basically, you have here your minimax button, okay? And if you hit it and see. I don't know if you can see it very well. Huh? Let me do manual adjust. Okay, there we go. Max. See the max right now. The top displays for amps. Bottom is the displays for volts. So, if you hit the min max button to max, okay, and this is before you turn turn the unit on. Clamp on, um, clamp on your meter. Start it up, and then instantly you'll see the inrush come in. And and I tested it. You know, I tested it on my uh, blower motor. Uh, inside at my furnace and it works like a charm so that was a win-win for me all the way around you know pretty much just get the same meter that I had before it satisfied all my requirements no lighted display um, dual display um, no, no magnet on the back and price wise it was very affordable so you know it just made sense to just pretty much stick with this so now I have two of these and now that I know that I can do inverse current, you know, it makes it a heck of a lot easier. And when I tested it on my uh, blower motor at my furnace, it was dead on, dead on. I think the uh, uh, lock rotor amperage was 8.2, oh no, 8.3, and this read 8.2. So, I mean, it, it, it is great. You know, now I'm glad and I'm happy that I do have that. Um, the kit came with... Um, I should say this particular kit came with case, instruction booklet, and 
and it came with two alligator clips, which I can't lay my hands on right now. But you know, everything came in the case. You know, manual, uh, the uh, alligator, the, the, the leads, and then the uh, alligator clip adapters, which you just pretty much just slide on top. I'm sorry, you, you slide and screw on top, and you know, just clamp on anywhere. So that's it in a nutshell. You know, short video. Uh, you know, on this particular piece, I love it. You know, it's very rugged. You now I dropped it a couple of times. You know, haven't had any issues with it. You no know, failing. Uh, for the most part, compared to other meters that I, you know, tested it with, it is, you know, for the most part, very accurate, very quick, very responsive, and um, you know, I'm very happy with it. So I, I so I got this off of True Tech Tools for like one twelve, and uh, and I had enough uh, points. <laughs> Uh, from True Tech Tools, from all the stuff that I bought for them in the past, that I was able to get fifty dollars off, off this meter. So, one twelve minus fifty to sixty two bucks. So that's still not bad at all, not bad at all. So, again, this is the UEI G two Phoenix uh, model DL three seventy nine, uh, multi clamp clamp meter. All right. So have a nice day.